Hey guys, it's me, Alice, and first of all, I'll announce this by the video afterwards, but I'm really sorry about, number one, my appearance, because I just got out of the shower and then I put my pajamas on because it's like 8.30 here, and number two is the lighting is abs absolutely horrible because, like I said, it's like 8.30, so it's freaking dark outside. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just up here on my bed because, you know, why not? Uh, watching YouTube till I go to go to sleep. Um, thought I'd film this for you guys. It is just it's a review. It's a helmet review. This was actually well, I should probably tell you what it is first. It is the Aegis. I don't really know how to pronounce that. That'll focus. I don't think it will, but yeah. It is by Devonair. And this was actually one of my first helmets. Like not ever, but like when I first started English about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, this is the helmet that I got, um, and I actually, for a $40 helmet, it is really nice, um, I mean, it's not really safe to wear anymore because I've fallen off a couple times in it, so I, I got a new one, um, I got a Charles Owen GR8, or JR8, I'll have to figure out which one, it's the cheaper one of the two, so, you know, I'll do a review on that in, like, a couple weeks, I just got it, like, two weeks ago, so... I really need to get to know the helmet before I can do a review on it. Um, and I'm sorry if it wobbles a little bit because my it's, it's on my bed, so whenever I move, the whole thing moves. <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, it's just it's plastic, and it's it's matte black. They come in a bunch of different colors, I think, but this is the, just the one that I got. Um, the front just looks like this. Um, I actually got this from a friend. I bought it off a friend for about $10. It was brand new in the box, but she had sold her two horses. And she had all these helmets that were brand new for her grandkids and stuff that were never going to be used. So she sold it to me for like $10. Um, so, you know, this is a size large, actually, which is kind of ridiculous because I really don't have a big head at all. But um, the nice thing about this and like most cheaper helmets, as I've figured out, is that it has this nice little dial thing. If you can see that, there we go. Um, you can just spin it to make it um, like bigger or smaller. Um, yeah, the only true complaint I have about this is, well, first of all, this is only because I got a giant helmet that is way too big for me, but it, I mean, it fits me with the dial thing, but um, is that it's really bulky. I feel like my head is like a mushroom here. I'll show you guys, like... I feel like I look like a mushroom with this on because it's giant on me, but, um, oh, my hair. <laughs> I mean, if you got a size that was actually, like, a good size for you, it would probably fit you a lot better <laughs> than it fits me. Um, also, part of the reason why I got a new helmet is that this little dial kept, like, sticking, and I couldn't loosen it. So, originally, um... Like, the day before it, it got, like, broken, I had ridden without tucking my hair up in my helmet, which is weird, because I always tuck my hair up in my helmet. I just don't like the feeling of my hair on the back of my neck. So I had it a little bit looser so I could, like, comfortably have my hair, er, hair up in the helmet. And then I, I tightened it so it would fit me better with my hair down. And then I took it off, and the next time I went to go ride in it, I loosened it so I could tuck my hair up in it, and it was completely stuck, so... Um, yeah, that wasn't very fun. It's not sticking right now at all. Um, I think part of that, though, was because of maybe, like, the heat at the barn in the summer versus the cold in the winter, because I just, I keep my helmets at the barn, and our tack, the tack room that I'm in, at least, doesn't have really heat control or, like, temperature control at all in it. It doesn't have fans or, like, a heater or anything. So, you know, I mean, it might be something to do with the heat or... I don't know. I, I already love my Charles Owens so much more than this, but I'd say that this is a really good starter helmet because it's just, it's cheap. It's like, I looked these up, they're like $40. You can go to any of your local tax stores. Um, most of them would have them, I'm guessing. Every tax store I've ever been has had them. You can also get them online, too. Like, I don't know if Dover sells them, but I know a couple other places. I've seen them on, like, Stateline Tech and stuff. Um... What else? What else? But yeah, I mean, it's an SAF, 
EI certified helmet, but I mean, I don't really think that any other helmets, like any helmet is not certified, because why would you buy it? But um, yeah, I mean, the only, the other problem that I've had with this is that not this particular one, I had like a silver one. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of that one later on, like, in a different video, probably, is that, um, it's like, here, if I can show you the inside, it's like this, sorry, that has my old friend's name on here, I don't, I got a lot of my stuff, so if you ever see that, that name on anything, like, ah, that is, it's from my friend, I just don't know if she'd appreciate me having it all over YouTube, but as you can probably see in here is it's like this kind of foamy kind of material I don't know what it's called it's like a hard styrofoam like a really hard styrofoam and then it's got like a plastic like a kind of hard I don't know if I can show you but you can kind of push your finger into it a little bit like there's some space between the plastic and the um, styrofoam because it's not glued down it's just held together with this little strip of um, like tape or something and on my silver one, the actually the back of it <laughs> fell off and I hit my head on the arena wall and the plastic part came off, so it's like held together with duct tape. Like that's not safe to ride in. But um yeah, my only two complaints are that problem and the little dial thing. But yeah, it's a it's a really good starter helmet. I mean I mean I wouldn't recommend it if you're really getting good at something like just as like a starter for things, like a beginner, I would recommend this because you probably won't want to like buy, go out and buy like a two hundred dollar helmet. Uh, it's only like, f I think it ranges from like forty to sixty dollars, depending on where you go and what size you get. But um, yeah, it's really a good, good helmet.